at least someone showed up today. I figured since it was Halloween, no one would show up. So today we're going to talk about film editing and mostly the artifice of how it tries to create an illusion of continuous space. Well, what do you mean, illusion of space, of continuous space? I've always figured that if a film takes place in a certain setting or room, then they would always film in that room. Well, you're not wrong to assume that, uh, that a scene would take place in the world that it depicts, but it's not always easy to do that. What do you mean that it's not always easy to do that? Well, it makes it a lot easier for uh, lighting or moving the camera around if you can remove the walls or change the set at a whim. It's kind of like this. Person A is in room A and person B is in room B. But if you never show the opposite sides of the room, like where the crew might be, but edit the rooms together so that it appears that they are in the same room, then by all means they're in the same room. But if the characters are in the same space, then what's the real em uh, emphasis on whether or not a space, the editing makes a space discontinuous or not? Well, that's what typical filmmaking is trying to do. It's trying to convince you that the space is continuous, that there is no missing space between the cuts of John Doe and Jane Doe. Does that make sense? So, what exactly are you trying to get at? In a sense, the movie in question is trying to convince you, the audience, that the world it depicts is real and believable. Uh, it essentially tries to recreate a reality from our reality that we understand on a daily basis. Well, teacher, uh, here's a hypothetical. If I all of a sudden get very, if I get something out of a movie, I get so moved that I changed something about me from that, then why would editing create a discontinuous space if it never had the intention to do so? It'd be a lot easier to discuss this if you and I were in the same room. Let's talk about it over coffee. But I still don't get it. Why don't you understand? Well, I mean, how could we still have had that conversation we had if there was no physical means of actually doing it? Like it was physically impossible. Well, it's because you acknowledge that the room was artificial after the fact. You believe that we were in the same room, so in essence we were. If you thought we could hear and see each other, then that was the case because it's likely the audience believed that too. So since this is a there is kind of situation, and I experienced the world of film as a there is, then by that logic, I accept the continuous nature of editing. But if I also accept it as the, as the editing is continuous, wouldn't I also be acknowledging the artificial stance, the artificiality of it? Well, it 
Sounds like you're getting the gist of it. Okay, but if you and I both entered this car into the same car at the same time and the audience saw it as such, then by that logic, we should be in the same car, right? Well, you can't rule out the possibility that we are, but that's kind of up to the audience. Thanks for the ride. No problem. <laughs>